cardio gear. Speeding headfirst into danger, Ranger uses quick movement and surprising firepower to overwhelm foes. With all sorts of hidden weaponry, Ranger is easily more than meets the eye. Basic Combat Ranger's primary fires a volley of missiles at high speeds, most accurate up to mid-range and has high capacity. Ranger is an easy target while firing, so try to avoid straight fights with enemies above 1500 HP. Fire your secondary to release a slow-moving plasma orb in front of you. This plasma bomb will deal minor damage when nearing an enemy. On impact, the orb expands to create an AoE, dealing lesser damage to enemies over time. Landing a direct hit on an enemy mech deals some bonus damage also, culminating into a poking and zoning tool before Core 1. Press the core button to change into car form, enabling you to cruise forward indefinitely to cover large distances at no fuel cost, making this a great recovery maneuver when low on fuel also. Ranger's profile is lowered in this form, making him a more difficult target. Press the core button again to exit car form. Ranger's movement ability is a somewhat floaty normal jump. In car form, the fuel cost of jumping is significantly increased, but still available. Zoom into action with Ranger Collision. Press the tactical button to activate your charge, while simultaneously entering car form. On impact, Ranger bounces backwards, dealing moderate damage in a small impact radius. The charge can be used both in midair and while already in car form. It's mainly an evasive maneuver, though it sometimes can be used to net you kills if the enemy is very low. Modules Farshot Missile increases the accuracy and velocity of your primary vastly increasing effective range and damage consistency in longer ranged fights. Large Clip increases the ammo capacity of your primary. High Energy Electromagnetic buffs the damage of your secondary on impact with an enemy. The extra 100 damage is pretty minor, but does help add up when used with Core 1. When colliding with an enemy, Blitz Mode grants extended shields. The shield benefit does cap out to 300, even with consecutive charges. This is your primary means of mitigating Ranger's vulnerability while firing its primary. Tele Enhancement increases mobility while in car form, great for repositioning both offensively and defensively. Most mechs will have a hard time keeping up with Ranger in BR with this module equipped. Rocket Boost increases the speed of your charge. The increased speed helps you zoom out of danger faster, at the cost of being vulnerable for longer after the charge ends. The base speed of the charge is pretty fast, so it's not always necessary. It's only against more mobile mechs such as Hurricane where it may make the difference. That said, Tele Enhancement is the more consistent module for most players. Rocket Boost really is a niche pick, but can find use in certain situations. Smart Fuse doubles passing shock damage with your secondary. Furthermore, the Plasma Bomb now sticks to enemies, roasting enemies for the entire duration of the AoE. This alone makes the secondary's damage worth respecting. Split Propulsion gives you an additional dash charge at reduced damage and distance per charge. You can train these charges to reach great distances vertically, and just having an extra charge to use to enter or exit battle at any time is game-changing. Core 2 works very well paired with Blitz Mode, allowing you to instantly recover shielding as soon as they go down. But since collision damage is reduced with Core 2, charges will be geared more towards tactical play than offensive play. Module Builds The Lamborghini build focuses on versatility. With this build, Ranger has higher effective range and consistent damage from Farshot Missile. Blitz Mode provides additional armor to help Ranger survive brawls and to secure kills, while Tele Enhancement helps to reposition in between fights. The Convertible build is focused on close range combat. For this build, we switch in Large Clip for the attack module. Large Clip is much more suitable for TDM, where having extra missiles after securing a kill could come in handy more often. A larger clip size also means more missiles to pop spam from cover for free damage, while still having some missiles left over to continue fighting normally. 
You can run Rocket Boost also if it fits your playstyle, but it really needs a buff to be worth its downsides. Hopefully they add a damage buff and distance increase to Rocket Boost to cancel out the debuffs of Core 2. Tech Builds The sports car build gives you heavy amounts of fire rate, vastly increasing your DPS. The Augment Shield mod gives you greater effective shields, with FRU for minor lifesteal and shield recovery. And finally, quick cooldown plan to top things off. For swap out, Self Healing Aligner is a great alternative for Augment Shield. Mecha Skills Lightning Mantra is versatile in its ability to soften up enemies for kills as you charge into battle. Hive Infrastructure is a decent pick for when committing to an elimination is necessary. With Gravity Amplifier, Ranger converts 200 durability into additional shields, synergizing well with Ranger's modules and allowing for more aggressive plays. Quick Shield Recharge allows you to recover your shields both passively and actively during battle, strengthening the in and out type of playstyle. Instant Flash is better used for quick getaways, making an already mobile mech harder to catch up to. Movement works weirdly in SMC. Increased movement also increases the distance you travel while charging. Combat Control works well with Ranger Score 2 and Shield Recovery on collision with an enemy. The value and flexibility of the skill scales with the ability and game sense of the player. In which case, this is definitely one of the stronger picks. Magic Stones The stones I recommend for Ranger are Air, Earth, Curse, and Fire. Advanced Tactics Ranger performs a small leap forwards and begins to drop rapidly while transforming. This happens even while transforming midair and can double as an instant evasive action with practice. For example, you can cancel a jump with your E ability to quickly drop back down into cover. There's also the forbidden application of this where Ranger can drive into buildings and the mech while in car form for unrelenting chases. While Ranger's secondary is a bit underwhelming in power, it still works as a great opening attack while flanking. Send out your orb early, then time your primary so that both attacks connect with the enemy at the same time. By the time the enemies have a chance to react, they'd already be in a world of hurt. Although your secondary doesn't deal much damage per tick, enemies will often steer clear of the orb in most cases. This makes it a great zoning tool, discouraging players from pushing you or forcing them to make more risky plays. It's when enemies are stuck inside the shock orb while being bombarded with missiles that the damage really tends to pick up. This is much easier to pull off with Core 1 and works insanely well when it does. The bounce back can be very powerful when used to throw off enemy tracking in close combat. To consistently bounce off the ground like when attacking pilots, approach the ground at around 90 degrees. You can also use this bounce back for crafty repositions at times, such as to cancel a dash early for a quick evasion to return to a nearby spot. This one mechanic's value increases considerably with user imagination and skill. You can also use your primary slow projectile speed to your advantage. With aggressive enemies, you can easily kite enemies around corners as they're met with missiles. This is your main means of zoning and wearing down enemies. Ranger Charge lasts long enough that it can be used in ways similar to hot steals. With good imagination, you can reposition around the map in creative ways to catch enemies off guard. You can even use Hostile's technique of weaving around an enemy attack, wrapping back around into your opponent. Blitz mode works against pallets also. You can often dodge pallet attacks with your charge, such as the Iron Shot, colliding you with enemies to deal damage while shielding yourself. From there, your opponents will often be scrambling to figure out where you've bounced off to, while you yourself are shielded and ready to finish the job. Ending Thoughts Ranger at his core is a mobility map. As a mobility mech, Ranger's main job is to position himself well for free damage, giving opponents a hard time focusing on one target long enough to take down a member of your team. Make good use of your mobility to position yourself to take fights and exit fights in an instant. With the appropriate build, Ranger can deal great continuous and poke damage in mid-range. His limited mobility when not in car form leaves him very vulnerable while attacking. So although he has some tanking ability, his shield should be seen more as padding rather than full armor. Ranger's fast playstyle makes him great in the hands of aggressive and tactical players. Don't stop now, because Ranger is never far behind. If you're looking for more videos like this, I've made guides for over half the entire mech roster of Super Mecha Champions. I'm live right now on Twitch also, so come say hi. If you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below also. It really does help the video get out there to more people. That's for this one, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Mommy out. Pizza.
<laughs> pizza, pizza. What? 